What? Idiot. That's the masses that the customer is always right. That's wrong. The customer is wrong. Do you know why? Please tell us. Because the customer has no idea how a modern vehicle works. If they did, they wouldn't need to come to us, right? Yo, did y'all see that monstrosity down on Central Avenue, though? What are you getting at? <laughs> Rocket fucking rod. I wanted to have a relaxing break. What's happening? That bastard is coming to the shop every two minutes for the last two weeks. I swear to God I'm going to bash his brains if I see him one more time. You know, I don't hate many people. But if Rod got plowed by a freight train tomorrow morning, I wouldn't blink an eye. What if... What if you could get away scot-free, no consequences? How would you kill him? Well, why me? I mean, I don't think I have it in me to kill a person. Plus, I would suck at prison. What? No, listen. You would have no repercussions. Dream scenario. How would you, you know, take him out? Time's up. Josh, you're up. What you got? All right. Let's check this out. I got this cousin, right? He's got this severe peanut allergy. Okay. If he even goes close to the stuff, it's legit. He'll die. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if the salesman was my cousin, I would take that handful of peanuts and I would crush them up into a fine powder and I'd blow that nut dust right in his face and watch him absolutely melt. Ah, <laughs> uh, the old nut dust gag. So your entire murder plot hinges on this guy having a nut allergy. Yeah, you said dream scenario, so he would have a nut. He would have a nut allergy. Okay, you guys are overthinking this on a major scale. Okay, no elaborate schemes, no little tricks. Just walk up to the guy in the middle of the night. It's dead night. He's getting into his car, sliding in, and bam! Put one in the back of his head. Then you just leave the gun in his hand and walk away. Clean, simple, suicide. You're a dumbass. He'd have a bullet hole in the back of his head, so it'd be pretty obvious that it wasn't a suicide. Hmm. Haven't you ever shot a gun before? Okay, boys, this is really simple. All we need to do is figure out what his morning routine is. We follow him, figure out what he's doing, what are his afternoon plans. Then we find his vulnerability, and that's when we attack. Oh, Miss Know-It-All, what do you do when you've hunted him down and have him backed into a corner? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. I would take that jack-off's head, I'd put it in a car door, and then I would slam it over and over and over again. And then I would rip his jugular out with my teeth. Hmm. Holy <sighs> shit, you're a psycho puppy. I thought you were scared of spiders. He's a car salesman, you guys asked. All right, you're all maniacs. Here's how we actually do it. It all starts with Christy. Christy, you'll seduce him. You go to his office one night. When it's late, he's there by himself. Walk into his office, do a little hair twirl, fat your eyes. You know, seduction stuff. Give him a little kiss on the cheek. At this point, he'll be all over you. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. What, why? It'll be late, he'll be tired, he'll be hungry, probably horny. I mean, what about me? I, I could do it. What? I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility in this day and age that he might be, you know? Maybe, may, may, maybe, but um, you're not exactly. Not exactly what, Shorty? Hmm? Mm. Uh, 
so Christy will seduce him. And then when he starts coming out of the store, as soon as he crosses the doorway, bam, you hit him with a steel rod. Do you even have a steel rod? I don't even have a steel rod. Guys, I have the damn steel rod. Okay, okay, wait. Even if this plan goes right for one minute, what about the body? What about his family? I already taken care of. Don't worry about the little details. I'll handle it. So are we doing this? Huh? Shorty Pickford, are you high? Yeah, this is getting a little too real. I've already done my time in county. I don't want to do it again. Seriously, are you high right now? Yeah, a little. I'm pretty baked, to be totally honest. Yeah. Good. I thought you were being, like, for real. Me too. Yeah, for sure. So, are we doing this? Oh my god, oh. I'm going home! No, no, I'm going. I'm hitting the hay. Yeah. Guys. It's Rod. We hate him. Well, hey, Mom. Oh, nice to hear from you. How's everything? Yeah? No. Accidents? I hadn't heard anything about that. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not right. Um, yeah. Could you, uh, could you hold on just a minute, Mom? <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no worries. That's just a little noise out in the shop. Yeah, everything's fine. Just SOP. You know how things are. All right. Well, love you much. We'll be seeing you at the club this weekend. Alrighty, bye now.